All right, what's going on? So now, initially, <laughs> initially, I wasn't even going to do any more videos on uh, 2K24. Um, but, you know, I figured what better way to transition over into 25. And I'm going to give 25. I'm going to kind of play it for a while before I even start doing videos on it. Just, just to really get a firm grasp on what the differences are. I might even waffle back and forth between the two just to get a, a better feel for, you know, what they've added, what they've taken out, what they fixed, what they've broken, you know, so on and so on. Because they do the same thing every year. They take things away that they probably should not have. They add things that it's like, what the hell? What was the purpose of that? They also add things it's like, okay, that's cool. I, I like the fact that they fixed this or fixed that. So, and what I want to talk about here really is um, why it is that 2K24 might go down as the absolute worst 2K of all time. And this is coming from someone who's virtually played this game for his entire life, right? Uh, uh, from the first 2K, the old ones with Alan Iverson on the cover, all the way up to now. I played every last one of them. Um, there's only like a one or two of them that I just didn't play a lot, but all of them for the most part I played them a lot, right? So I can I can tell you generation after generation of 2Ks what the differences are. And the uh, game developers, they use something called dynamic game balancing, right? And you could look that up on Wikipedia. Now... Where 2K falls off and where they where they really started to fall off was somewhere around about I want to say what was that 2K 18 or 19 somewhere at some point I'm not exactly sure which one it was but at some point for the old school players of 2K you can recall when you would play 2K if you were to change the game difficulty it would not have any effect on the game sliders, right? If you remember that, you can take it from rookie all the way up to Hall of Fame. The game sliders would be 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, all the way square down the line, right? At some point, I cannot remember exactly what 2K it was, but at some point, they changed it from that to where when you change the game difficulty, it did not just only affect the difficulty level, it changed the actual sliders, which means that it's also playing around with the attributes, right? So in other words, now, um, where because previously, the older 2Ks, they were a little, at least from my perspective, they were a little bit harder, maybe even a lot harder to play, and it was due to the fact that if you put it on Hall of Fame, it did not really mess with the computer sliders. What it would do is it would cause computer to play, to be a, a lot more competitive and smarter, right? Now, if you change it, computer is no smarter and more competitive than, than, what, they, than what they were on rookie or any other level. What happens is that rather than changing their AI, their artificial intelligence, it changes the attributes, right? Because there's no there's no longer a need for them to change the artificial intelligence because they're utilizing dynamic game balancing as a stand-in for computers' dumbass gameplay. So now what is that result in? It results in the game doing a lot more cheating rather than having to actually battle with the computer. Now, in this game right here, first let's look at this, you know. This is what I constantly have on replay right here. It's more obvious. I ain't really going to go into too much detail. But you can see, uh, I think that's Henderson. He's coming up the court. And I'm trailing him, trying to stop him. And the game forces me to stop and allows him to take off on me, right? You see that. Like, I've, I've covered this type of stuff on this channel a gazillion times. You already know what's going on right here, right? So, we ain't going to go into that too too much but what I really want to get into is how this game actually started off right so the um the team comparison right so as you can see the computer's biggest lead uh was a 20 point lead now think about this think about this 
in my entire life playing 2K. And they did that to me in the first quarter, right? In my entire life playing 2K, I, I don't think I have ever lost a game or even allow a computer to ever take a 20-point lead on me in my entire life playing 2K. Think about that for a minute. Now, also, let's look at this. Let's look at the, the games that I've played throughout this season. Wins, wins, wins all the way down. And just about all of them are just nasty blowouts, right? So now ask, you know, ask yourself, how does something like this occur where I end up taking a 20-point dip versus the computer? Now we're only down by three. How would something like that happen, especially as early as in the first quarter? Why would something like that go on? Now, starting the game off, and here here goes, and this goes into what I was talking about concerning dynamic game balancing, right? Where basically they're controlling the narrative and the outcome and the flow of the game, whether you get a steal or not, whether you get a turnover or rebound, whether you make a layup or free throw. In 2K24, I've, I've released plenty of green free throws and missed them, right? And have it on camera too. But here's what happens, right? So in the first quarter, I get a foul. And I'm like, whoa. Keep in mind, I'm averaging 9.9 .9 steals, 9.7 steals. <coughs> and I get a reaching foul. So I'm like, wait a minute. That was a strange reaching foul for me to get, right? I, I, I got this down to a science. This is only how you be able to get 9.7 steals on computer. Got it down to a science. I know when to reach, when not to reach. I know what kind of reaching fouls they call. And that was pretty. That was a pretty unusual call, and it was right on the first play, defensive play. So I'm like, wow, they're gonna call another foul on me in the first quarter. You know, if you get two fouls in the first quarter, they put you on the bench. So sure, shit stinks. Uh, uh, computer tries to go for a layup or a dunk, and they blow the whistle, get a foul. Now what I do, because I don't care. I know two K cheats, so I don't give a fuck. I do what I do. I saved it, <laughs> you know, when you save it and quit, it goes to the most recent inbound, right? So computer still got the ball, and I'm, I'm already knowing in this game it's, it's meant for me to get in foul trouble early. So I reboot the game, come back into it, and sure as it stinks, the very first defensive play, not even 10 seconds on the joystick rebooting the game, I get another foul. This time, I don't just quit and leave out. I challenged it, and I won the challenge. But guess what the game does? It puts me on a bench anyways, right? So you're only really supposed to go to the bench if you get two fouls. I didn't have two fouls. So they wanted me on a bench, obviously, anyways. They just wanted me on the bench. Come back into the game. We're down by 18. Computer got the ball. They hit another layup. Down by 20, right? In other words, it was that that holds the foul. Basically, if, that would be three fouls in the first quarter if they don't bench me and I don't quit it and save, save and quit, right? So in other words, there was a thick narrative. There was an algorithm script, right? There was a dynamic game balancing strip, script that was meant that already stated. It basically had it coded that, I'm going to get in foul trouble in this game, right? I'm going to, you know, I'm not going to be playing like that. A computer is supposed to try to take a lead. It's, it's extremely rare for a team to even take a 20-point lead in the first quarter, period. Even on a bad, even, even playing, even a good team versus a bad team, that's unusual, right? But because the, the narrative was so thick, and this is, I have a great team. I'm not playing against a good team right here. So how did they tell? I have Kawhi Leonard, DeMar DeRozan, uh, Zubak in the paint with Kaminsky. I have a generally a decent team. They're not supposed to be doing that, right? But for 2K, when they want a certain narrative to play out, this is how it's going to go. It does not. They throw all logic out the window, and that that element of dynamic game balancing it overrides basic logic it overrides skill it overrides a uh, high iq gameplay 
when you're actually out thinking and outsmarting the computer, you're not rewarded for it as you should be, right? Because there's a there's a script. It's a lot of lazy programming going on, so they use this as a as a overriding script. So they so rather than leaning on the computer's actual intelligence and their actual ability to play well, what the game is doing is they're they're backing the computer up it's like a safety net where they have a, a um an algorithm in place that's literally placed their program to cheat the hell out of the user right and it's not helpful right in a and especially not in a, in a competitive game like basketball now if you're playing like a fighting game uh, something like that, where where you know, or, or, or like a, a adventure game, Zelda, some shit like that. Dynamic game balancing has a major place in something like that. In a game like 2K, uh, or, or Madden, or even wrestling, I played 2K wrestling, and I saw the same thing in 2K's wrestling. Like, whoa, what the hell is this? You can you can tell that it cheats you. Right, but um, I want to say I give it, I want to give it about a week before I actually start doing 2K25 videos. Right, um, I don't really want to just just for the sake of getting views, just come right out doing 2K25 videos. I want to actually live with it for a minute, right, and, and really give y'all a thorough grasp and understanding of basically you know what it's really not even necessary honestly because you already know what the fuck is going to be <laughs> you already know how 2k gets down but just for the just for the sake of just for the fuck of it you know what my channel is about we're going to continue the same thing year after year um and that's what it's going to be um hopefully they've improved it I've seen some of the, I've seen the trailer, I've seen some of the videos, I've seen content already. I don't really know quite yet. I actually got to get my hands on it. So I'm going to download it and get to it. Um, see y'all in the next video. Peace.